So today we want to take a short um, introduction into the new Fibaro key file, how you how you use it, and there you go into the login and configuration of the Fibaro key file, and here you see um, almost the same user interface as you know from swipe or from the panic button from Fibaro. You can see different, um, yeah different buttons you can choose to uh, switch scenes for example switch a single device or many different devices so for example when I when I add a new reaction to my um, square I can choose as you know from the magic scenes one scene or a specific device however you want it so in my case I could use um, the LED and I go to next and then I can uh, make a scene where I use the square to turn on the RGB lights. So this is very easy. So now I make a test and you can see like in the panic button you see the um, yeah, command you sent immediately which combination you used and as we go further down we can see that we can add more actions and you can actually use every single button with um, at the end four different combinations. So one press, two press, three press and hold. So every single button has four different scenes to activate and that's a way it makes it really powerful. So at the end you have many many scenes you can actually use with that device. Okay, but now coming and taking a look at the advanced configuration because here is something very new and unique Fibaro made with this device. It's called lock mode. So when I want to use the lock mode I go inside here and then um, I have to make an unlocking sequence. That's something like a pin, like a pin code. Because this key fob has no coverage, um, you can use a pin code. So now I'm using a pin code to unlock my device. So let's take this as a pin code and then go next. Then um, the time period after it auto locks. So I want to make it very short. So every time I press the button, afterwards the device goes into the locked mode again so next I have tells me to wake it up which I perform by plus and circle and here we go lock mode configuration successfully completed finish so when I go now back to my interface oh um, I can see now okay here's a little Thing. so it is locked now and when I press any button now I cannot do it I will not perform it so I have to unlock it which I do now and now I can press and then it actually receives it after 10 seconds it will be locked again now it's locked so let's see when it's unlocked again time to lock 10 seconds let's wait a bit and then we see that this device is now locked. I cannot perform anything. So now it is locked after 10 seconds. Okay, let's take a look at the other things. Control protection, that is the thing we just made. And here you can set associations, as you know from other remote controls as well. And here this parameter you can actually set the thing manually but in our case the home center 2 gives us a good template to make that with a graphical um, interface and not by using numbers for parameter so that is what actually what is actually really interesting and um, yeah this is what is about the new key fob and um, the other Things most of it goes very easy, very graphical, it's very easy to use. And if you look into scenes now, we can take a quick look into the scenes how that will look like. I add a new scene. This time we use the graphic scene block. And here we go. Let's see how this device looks in the scene. And let's add a new device and keep up. Fibar is the device I want to use and here we have the same procedure as we know from other things um, We have many different keys and We can choose one. So for example, I can choose key one first then and Here we go 
then we can switch a device. For example, open my strike lock. Yes, so that is actually a pretty nice scene because I have to unlock the key fob before. So if anybody steals my key fob, you still have to break through my um, security pin. So that's a very nice feature, very nice implement in the Home Center 2. And that's basically it. First hands on the C Wave key fob.